Today I'm here to do an update on this couch that I painted nine months ago. I can't believe it's been that long. But I answer everyone's questions on there and I've gotten a lot of repeat questions so I decided to film a video not only to answer your questions but to also show you guys that what I'm saying is to be true. Okay, so one of the main questions that I get all the time is does it stain your clothes and does it come off? I'll show you guys the couch real quick. This little cushion right here is what we're going to be demonstrating on. So I have a pair of black I almost said black blue jeans. <laughs> we have a lovely pair of black jeans. And as you can see, although there's a lot of dog hair on them, we're gonna see if we can get some paint on them. Like I'm literally gonna try to get paint on these. So it's just like pretend that I'm gonna sit down and then we're gonna rub these jeans on there. Ta-da! There's nothing on these jeans except dog hair. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's like pound it. Let's like beat it in there. Ta-da! There's nothing on here. So I hope that that clarifies and answers your guys' questions and I hope that it eases some of your concerns that you have. You do not have to be afraid to sit on your couch or your chair or whatever you paint because you're not really painting your couch, you're dyeing the fabric, and I'll get more into that later. So let's take a look at the couch now and see if anything came off and see if it's still in good condition, since rubbing those jeans on it. The second most common question that I get is how much water did you use for how much paint? And I'm gonna tell you guys this right now because I didn't answer that in the video and that's a very good question. I didn't measure. When I first got this couch, I shampooed it and then I painted directly right after that so my couch was already really wet. And I started by working in sections and I worked in sections throughout the entire thing. So what I did was I had already shampooed it and then I had a water bottle and I just squirted a whole section and then I took my paintbrush and I squirt like inside of the of the paint, I squirt some water in there, mixed it around with my paintbrush, and then I worked in sections going in circles in one little section at a time. And then before I moved on to the next section, I made sure that it was sprayed down really well again on top of being already shampooed. So the wetter that you have your furniture before you paint, the better it is because you're not really painting the couch, you're dyeing the fabric. So the more water that you use, the better it's gonna be because you don't wanna lose like the soft texture and feeling of your couch. Because if you use too much paint and not enough water, your couch is gonna be really stiff and it's gonna be hard and it's gonna be crunchy, it's gonna make noises when you sit on it and it just, you're not gonna want that. So the more water you use, it may take longer, it's gonna take way more coats because you're gonna have to keep going over and over and over it again to get the color that you really want. But it's worth it in the long run because you don't want a stiff, like crunchy couch. I would really suggest going and doing a section of the furniture that no one's really gonna see to just kind of get the feel of it and see uh, see if you like the color and you like the consistency and to really get the feel for it before you like start doing your entire couch. Just work in little sections and first start in a section where no one's gonna see. That way you can personally get the feel for the color that you want, the consistency that you want, make sure that you have enough water. You don't wanna start with like the cushion area. If you don't have enough water in it, it's gonna be crunchy when it dries. So like I said before, you're not really painting your couch, you're just dyeing the fabric. So the main thing is to get the chalky paint really diluted. And then when you start painting the couch, it's gonna seep into the fabric and then it will dye the fabric. And I also have a DIY recipe for chalky paint. If you can't find the color that you want in the store, it's actually like a lot, lot cheaper. And I wish that I would have known about this before I painted my couch, but now I know. But I can say that I haven't used the DIY chalky paint recipe to paint any upholstery, but I have used it on furniture, like a table and some chairs, and it worked amazingly, if not a little better. 
than the star-bought brand of chalky paint and it's like a third of the cost so if you have a really big furniture piece that you want to do go for it and like I said before you know I could sit here and I could talk you guys through it I could walk you through it but you're not really gonna know for yourself until you do it for yourself and I make these videos and I'm not a professional in any sense of the word it's just a hobby that I have and I like to show you guys how I do things and kind of you know make you guys feel inspired to do things your own way but kind of you know help to guide you in the direction that you want to be in but yeah that's that's mainly what I would suggest doing is just do it yourself you're not going to be disappointed I would much rather when I first got this couch okay I paid two hundred and fifty dollars for it on eBay it's a vintage French provincial I called up some upholstery companies and they wanted twenty five hundred dollars to have it reupholstered in like a pink velvety fabric because that's what I really wanted and then that's not even for the jewels on there and I just I couldn't swing it I wasn't going to that's just foolish for me uh, if you have the money and you don't want to mess with painting it go for it but you're more than likely watching this video because you want to paint something and to me it was so worth it I don't like painting I especially didn't like doing this it took hours and days to do but in the end it was so worth it I love it so much I would much rather spend you know 30 40 dollars on some paint and some jewels and do it myself than to pay $2,500 for uh, to have it reupholstered. But I just wanted to make this video, you know, and kind of ease some of your concerns and let you guys know that it's totally worth it to paint your upholstery because then you have the couch that you've always wanted and you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. Granted, it is a lot of work, but it's worth it. Like I've been saying, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any more questions or concerns, leave them down in the comments. And maybe in another year from now, I can film another video on an update of this to those of you that are still a little bit unsure. But this couch is in the exact same condition that it was when I first painted it nine months ago. And I don't regret doing it at all. <laughs>